Hello, people of YouTube. I'm Triforce Wisdom 64, and welcome back to Let's Play. There's a weird small John Bendax name. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. Opening up with a concussion grenade. Ow, oh, Jesus! What kind of grenades is he throwing? Oh, th oh, there we go. Uh, uh, not too far. That was a concussion grenade. It stunned him. He's not stunned anymore, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna chuck a plasma grenade. Use an advanced med pack. Chuck another plasma grenade. Run. Chuck another plasma grenade. Use another advanced med pack. And this is the strategy to fighting him. Throw grenades and use med packs. Let's hit him with a frag grenade to finish him off. BAM! And he is dead. Bendak is down! It's over! It's over! The fight is over! Bendak Star Killer is down! Bendak Star Killer is dead! Oh, hail the mysterious stranger! The greatest coolest who ever graced! Oh yeah! Hail to the king! Now, I practiced this level up. I take charisma as an attribute. Skill, I don't take anything, because I need two for persuade. Feet, maxima two-handed fighting. And accept. Now let's receive our credits. Bendak Starkiller's dead. I, I don't believe it. If be Bendak never loses, that was an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. I'm gonna shut the door now. I'm scared. No background noise now. Glad you enjoyed it. Now where's my share of the purse? You've done well, stranger. I'm pleased, very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bendak's blaster pistol as a bonus, as a sign of my appreciation. I think I deserve a little extra for putting my life on the line. I always pay my debts, but if you get more than all the duelists will want more. We had a deal, 10%. I expect you to honor it. Okay. I'll take the 10%. Everyone will be talking about you now, stranger. They're all going to know you were the one who killed Bendak Starkiller. You're famous now. And we get 700 credits. And we get Bendex Blaster. Energy damage, 2 to 7. Range, 23 meters. Critical threat, 20 to 20 times 2. Balanced, 2, two plus 2 slash plus 0 versus 2-handed weapon penalty. Using that often. Attack modifier 1, upgradable. Karth's Blaster. Energy damage, 2 to 7. Range, 23 meters. Critical threat, same, same balance penalty. Karth's Blaster has a one damage modifier difference. And this is the hardest fight on Terrace. That credits... That was a small amount of credits and a, and a weak weapon. Oh, hey. It's my dad. How's it going, dad? How it's going work? good. Good. Hello, YouTube. You just said hello to, like, five people. <laughs> Over the course of a month. Alright, so, uh, that's done. I didn't plan ahead of that. Uh, oh, of course, we need to go all the way to the lower city. Here's the thing about the, uh, actually... Uh, nope, I will return to hideout if I do that. Here's the thing. Um, there is a force power to speed up, but it doesn't make your allies, and it makes you, like, super speed, but it doesn't make your allies speed up at all, so you still have to wait for them once you get to your destination. Unless, of course, you take three Jedi and they all have it, then they'll all use it, but... Other than that, there's no way to fast travel except back to your base. And in dungeons, you can't do that. And you go to Kashyyyk as a world in this game, and everywhere on Kashyyyk, except where your ship is, 
is considered a dungeon. So you can't even fast travel back to your ship on Kashyyyk, and it's gonna be really hard to make that part interesting. It's gonna be like Skyrim videos. Uncut Skyrim videos. Like, Tavoskis is... I'm gonna turn the controller off for a sec. Like, Tavoskis is uncut Skyrim videos where he showed every little detail and didn't cut ever. Uh, there's gonna be some mindless... Well, not mindless wandering. I'm gonna know where I'm going, but there's gonna be some long travel. Uh, yeah. And, of course, I'm showing all the dialogue so that you get all the story of all the side quests and whatever. So that makes this drone on. Um, Kashyyyk is gonna be especially bad. But, uh, there, there are gonna be some points in the game where nothing's gonna get accomplished in an episode. And that's to be expected in an RPG like this. Anyway, let's go to this cantina and collect on our bounty. Actually, oh, right, I just remembered, we need a permacrete detonator. I think we can get one from the equipment emporium back in the upper city. But I don't know where the uh, guy is that I need to give that to. I figured you'd do that. Neither of us is getting off this plane. Right, Canfris. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes out of here, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. I have a few things to take care of first. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. So yeah, I'm get, I guess I'm paying this, or rather getting paid a bit early. Oh, right, you get more credits from Bendak. I've got a bounty I want to collect on. A bounty? Well, human, that's what I'm here for. Tell him about Bendak. So you killed Bendak in Deathmatch Duel. Ironic, isn't it? Bendak has a bounty on him for killing people in a duel, and you collect it by killing him in a deathmatch. Here, 300 credits. Oh, so you do get exactly 1,000. I want 400 for this job. What? A hut actually gave me more money than he said he was gonna give me? You do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. I'll be going now. Alright, so you actually do get a thousand total credits from that fight, <laughs> interestingly. Where is he, though? Give me more details! Oh, well, I'm in the cantina right now. It's not gonna say where he is on the map, so I need to check every apartment in on Terrace until I find him. I think he's somewhere here in the lower city. I don't know where to get a permacrete detonator. Maybe I can get one from the equipment emporium? I do not believe I have a permacrete detonator. I think I already checked for one. Oh, this is, uh... Uh... Alphabetic. Pass card, black one, poison. Nope, I don't. So, I think I know where I can get one. We're going to return to hideout. And we're going to go to the equipment emporium. And hope they have one. And if they don't, uh, I'm in trouble. And I'm going to need to find it off screen. Maybe the uh, shopkeeper in here has one. He only sells kind of weak stuff, though. Let me see what you got for sale. Oh, he has a sound dampening stealth unit? Dang. That gives a plus two to stealth. 
That's really good. I think I want to buy that. I have enough credits for it. So, uh, pick that up before you go with Candorous. It's very good. It's like the stealth field generator, but it adds a plus two to stealth, because it makes you quieter. So, anyone can use it. Well, actually, I, I don't think a Zalbar the Wookiee can, but everyone else. Alright, so let's see if the Equipment Emporium has a Permacrete Detonator, because I don't. <laughs> oh, wait, she said the Sith took all her weapons. Hey, hey, look who's back! The mysterious stranger. You know, I had a front row seat when you gunned down a Bendix Starkiller. Best duel I've ever seen! Okay. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount. Uh, and how you're a big celebrity and all, but with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the tools on. You're human, is it? Because you're... You know what? I'm not even going to make a racist joke. Let me see what you've got for sale. Because of the Sith quarantine... I'd be happy if you had a permacrete detonator. Another sound dampening stealth unit. Permacrete detonator. There we go. And by the way, you're. Oh, also, if you are in your hideout, or usually it's the ship, you can, uh, if you don't leave the area, you can warp back to where you just were. But of course, I can't do that because I came out here to the upper city to go to the equipment emporium. So now I have to run all the way back down to the lower city and then find the apartment building where that guy is. It's probably going to happen in the next episode. I really wish you could fast travel. When the Jedi ambushed Raven, Malin attacked his master ship and usurped the mantle of Dark Lord. That's kind of crappy to put there. That spoils something with the uh, Bastila side quest, that she didn't actually kill him. Okay, now, now that I think about it, I remember for sure that the guy who wants the Permacree detonator is in a lower city apartment building, because I remember it being really run down. But l look at this map. It has points of interest on it. But you can't fast travel to any of them, and you can't fast travel to exits. The there's no fast traveling unless you have three people who all are Jedi with the speed up. Which, it would make sense at many points in this game to have three Jedi with you. I like mission, but there are two Jedi besides Bastila and yourself that you get. So it makes perfect sense for you to have both of Bastila or just both of the others with you. I don't know. It's also kind of, if you're doing a casual playthrough, it's kind of wasteful to, uh, take a force point in the speed up. Is he in this building? Can I make this episode, uh, can I make this part of the episode worth watching? Well, he's not in there. I know I've already looted this place, because I have the side quest, which means I've been in here. Well, it's empty, so I'm pretty sure he's in here. Come on. I've got to end the episode soon. Where are you, dude? I have a permacree detonator for you. Here. Yes! I was afraid you wouldn't come back. Did you manage to find a permacree detonator? I have a permacree detonator right here. Go on, take it. Let me see. Yes, this should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. There's nothing there. Where are you going? Okay, the timer's set. Now let's get out of here before it blows. Now that was quite the blast. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in on your head. Okay, see you next time. I got light side points and credits.